So anyway, guys, just wanted to get on real quick and uh, kind of go over the plan because the old service was 150 amp and had no spots left in it. So me building a pole barn out there, I have to have another uh, 100 amps with a sub panel out of the pole barn. So I had to upgrade the house first. So now I have a, uh, the 200 amp panel. I got plenty of spots left up there. And uh, All right guys, so uh, the electricians were out and they got um, some wire in our new trench. So we're gonna uh, check out their work. I was busy, couldn't film the whole thing, but uh, I'll show you what we got in the basement. Yeah, we have the uh, 100 amp. 100 amp breaker is hard to see, but a new 100 amp breaker right here, which is going to feed this line. And this line goes up here and up out here. And uh, yeah, it comes out here, comes down here to a junction box right here inside the garage. Junction box. My buddy's digging the trench with his little uh, Kubota. He got a lot done yesterday. Whoops. Got a lot done yesterday. Started right there. And went this way. got to be 24 inches deep which most of this trench is 26 inches deep this tomorrow but we have to the trench Trench. Uh, it's gonna go in the building right here. A little sub panel between the window and the door right in here inside. Alright, so I'll be uh, I'll be working tomorrow, but when I get home I'll film the inside and the full completed project. But uh yeah, we're getting there. Too bad it's hundred degrees, we would have been done already. But 
We're getting there. All right, so yesterday we ran one circuit um, over top of the garage door. <clears throat> right now I got two 20 amp circuits in there. And I ran one out one side, one out the other for uh, outlets. Right now we ran this over the garage, over the garage door so I can put an outlet start uh, outlets over here. Alright, so then the uh, plenty of clamps, it looks nice and neat. Alright, looks good. And uh, doing the same thing over here. Uh, by code you have to have a GFI on uh, your first outlet. So we've done that and marked it. I like to use the big boxes just so I have plenty of room to add stuff if I have to or run another wire off of it. But right now we have this uh, ran right down the bench and we're going to stop today here at uh, this outlet here. So that'll be three, three today added to this side. So, uh, with the MC cable, you have these, I like these connectors, they just kind of snap in. Um, they snap right in the sides, and you put one of the uh, little red guards inside where you cut the cable, so that it's protected on both sides. Put it in there, it's not going nowhere. Um, also, these boxes didn't have a uh, ground or any holes. I just drilled some holes to screw them to the boards and I got a ground screw in here. All right, so I'll show you when one is uh, wired up. That's basically it. Pretty simple deal and uh, We'll get one wired up and show you what it looks like, all right? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this cover ready um, with the outlet in it because these covers come with two of these little uh, nuts. Um, and they're for these screws here. So we'll take these out. The ears will not work in here. All right. Take them off. All right. So first thing I did was I wrapped the, uh, I stripped both of these grounds. And I wrapped the ground around that grounding screw and just gonna uh, tighten her up like that. Boom. All right. Now I can wrap these grounds together and then I'll clip one and put the other one to the outlet. All right. All right, so we got this one wired up. We got the ground attached to the box. The uh, line side to the top, load side, which is going that way. We have that on the bottom, that's just the way I like to keep it. So we'll bolt that up, dry her out. All right, once again, this is the uh, second outlet line. And I like to keep the uh, line side, which is to the left, on the top of the outlet and the load side going out on the bottom just to keep things organized. She's grounded to the box down there and now uh, we're ready to bolt, bolt her up. All right, so we're getting there. Now, bend this down a bit. And as I said before, save yourself plenty of wire. So this is the uh, 
blind side. We'll do the uh, load side first and the neutral first, all right? Keep plenty of wire for later on if you need it. That's why, again, why I like the big boxes. The other thing is, these things here, you tend to want to push them screws in, All right? We're on the neutral side, to so the silver side. Push them in, and then your line side would be on top, like that. And then, well, Get my screwdriver ready. In, line side, top. I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. <clears throat> See? There, both tight. Make sure, okay? This other side, load side, will go on the bottoms. So uh, I'll do that. I'll show you. Finish, finished product. All right, guys, so here we go. We have our ground, we have our neutrals on the uh, silver side, our blacks on the gold side. I always like to do a uh, line side, which is coming in from the right on top, and then load side going out to the left on the bottom. Okay, just keep things neat, and we'll take these screws out yeah bottom one started all right nice awesome all right done deal we got uh, three more to do and this whole side of the barn is done All right, so got a lot done on my uh, two days off. We got uh, four outlets uh, along the benches. Two out five. Another outlet. One, two, and three. Uh, four total. Got two circuits on one one way, one the other. They added some breakers, including a two double full 30s for future and four 20s for future. Right now we're only using two circuits. All right, and uh, over here, starts our other circuit. We got one, two, Four on that side, five over here. Start new circuit breakers in, and uh, some nice lights too. <laughs> Although they're plug-in lights, they're very bright, and good for my workbench. So, yeah. Anyway, we got a lot done, and I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And um, we got a lot more uh, electric to run here in the barn so if you like this kind of stuff tune in again and uh, I'll see you on the next one appreciate you